The episode before the last was dedicated to the amazing photos from the launch of the first SLS rocket. And since it is a big event, which is also of interest to you, the viewers, we are coming back to this topic once more. Today we have a series of photos directly from NASA for you. In the immediate proximity of the launch pad, several cameras were located, which made it possible for us to see the moment of the launch from the places where a person would never be able to reach them. The solid rocket boosters fell into the Atlantic roughly 225 kilometers from the launch pad. The remnants of the central stage then ended up in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and North America. And that's really all from the start of the Artemis 1 mission. Other images will already be related to the Orion spacecraft. The fact that this spacecraft gets its electrical energy from four photovoltaic panels on the European space module is clear. You probably also know that these panels can tilt and rotate in different ways. But it will surprise many of you how mobile they actually are. This 2000 times sped up video shows how the panels moved while the spacecraft was still in orbit around the Earth. The panels are movable for two reasons. Their capacity to rotate and tilt ensures that they will be pointing towards the Sun to generate a power for the onboard systems. The second reason is less obvious. Before performing the motor maneuvers, the panels are folded towards the body of the spacecraft to minimize their mechanical stress. At the ends of the photovoltaic panels, we will find cameras that can take pictures of both the Orion spacecraft and its surroundings. Sometimes even the Earth gets into the background view. This image was taken at a distance of roughly 22,000 kilometers from our planet. And finally, we have one more look inside of the cabin of the Orion spacecraft. In the commander's seat sits a mannequin dressed in an orange suit called Munikin Campos. Its sensors measure the conditions which would be experienced by the astronauts. If you like spaceflight news, we would like for you to subscribe. Our channel is new and we will be grateful to you for any form of promotion so as many people as possible can learn about the news from spaceflight. Thank you for watching our videos.